Okay, this is take number two because I dropped everything. Okay, so we're going to be doing the Milani review today. Try on all this. It's got a snake and it is on the mirror from what I can tell if you try to take that off. Normally I don't try to, but if you do, see it's on the mirror. And these are the colors. I did try to dip in on it so you see a little bit of color still left there because I had to start over once this phone fell. But then we go with this one. This one's the fairy tale one, nice, pretty, and then this one is the beautiful nightmare palette. So the fairy tale one, open it up. That's what that one looks like. It's got shimmers in this one, quite a bit. They're like half and half, I believe. So, but it's very nice. It's very pretty. So let me attempt this one more time and let me see if I can actually come up with a better idea than what I was doing last time. Something simple. Let me try to go simple. So if that's my point on wanting to go simple, I'm going to start with this black, which is good night hiss. I'm going to start it stamping it right here and working that over and out. As such, maybe. Like, there is a bit of fallout, but normally, like I said, this is my my fallout eye. It just does. It always... Eyeshadow just loves to fall on this eye. So we are going to do this. As such. Like that. And then I want to try to smoke it out. With this red. I want to do this red. This bad blood. We'll smoke it on the edge like that. Just rub it in there. Rub it in there on the edge. Okay, so very pigmented. But when are they not nowadays, you know? Blendability, they're kind of sticking a bit to where you set them down, but they are diffusing. Okay, so they are diffusing out. Putting it there, diffuse that, like so. Going to go back in a little bit more with this black. Deepen that up, make sure it's exactly what I'm expecting. And then... You know, I don't know what it, this will turn out to be like, but let's go in with this gray. This grave digger is legitimately a gray. And I'm going to do that right in there. Blend it in with that red, oddly enough. Blend it in with the red. That's a cool tone, really pretty gray. Like, that is a nice gray. Like, wow. So we're gonna do that. And I wanna put a pop of this green, this mischief, right in there. Like so. So we have that kind of look going on. I'm gonna look crazy. You know me. I'm gonna look crazy. This is more of a dark, dark look. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my finger, and I'm going to go in with Ill Will. Like, that looks so pretty. Look at that. And it is, like, almost, I, I think it's a finely ground glitter, because it feels kind of grainy. Sorry, I had a fuzz in my eyebrow. But I'm going to try to put that on the lid. Like this. And see how that does. It's so pretty though. Like, oh my goodness. That's no glitter base. That's none of that. That's just straight onto the lid with my eye primer on there. And it looks like that. So nice. And then, I'm wondering, I'm going to try with the brush now. Because I need a little bit more precise application if I'm going to try this. Which one? Which one? I'm going to go in with this one. The Night Terror. Oh, will it come up on the brush? It kind of does. So let's find out if it'll pack on and how it'll transition into that other shade. 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I am going to try to... I almost messed up there. I am going to try to deepen up that gray again. Because it's a very cool tone gray. Like... It's almost blue based. But get that in there. Get a little bit more of this green. Pop that. Like that. Oh, just deepen it all up. Oh, okay. So that, that blue is still my favorite. So it is looking a little patchy. So it's not my favorite right now. Like this, like the transitions aren't as nice as I wish they were. And making a cohesive look. Like, that's one idea, right? But, I mean, the only thing I can think of to make this better is to literally just make a basic look. But, even then... Okay, I have an idea. So, that's one idea, okay? So... Like, let me think. Because I want, I want to make this look pretty. I want to make this work. Because it is so nice. I don't, I probably am going to make a video dedicated to just this one by itself because this one, I'm going to end up making two eye looks just to make sure I give it a fair shot and give it a correct shot. So I am going to take Mischief and take that. I'm going to do it like this. So we're going to have two eye looks going on because of the fact that I do want it to have its fair review. Because sometimes you just hit creativity block. Which I think what it is is with me because I did go back to work. So I think that's what it is. Creativity block. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be my base. Like this. And then. Same thing. I'm going to take that. And I am going to. Go in with that. That, that blue, I still like that blue. That ill will. That one, I still, I think it's so pretty. So I'm going to do that all across the lid. The best I can. Drag it across the lid. As such. And then I am going to go with Bow Down. Which is nice, nice. And I'm going to do that transitioning over a bit yeah you're gonna want to use your fingers with these because otherwise they're just gonna like do that they kind of just clump up there we go they kind of clump up and they just fall unless you spray your um unless you spray your brush i'm pretty sure that would have fixed that so i'm gonna go in with this kind of brush now and i am gonna go in with that black again good night hiss and then I'm going to pack it on in the corner of my eye. But I do have to say that Milani is one of the first eyeshadows that I ever tried the black shadow from. And I loved it. I even bought the single from it. It was just one of my favorite, like, all-time blacks. It is. It was just the shadow for me when I was in high school, you know. You know, you know. You know if you had one of those phases. Or if not at a phase, you know, because I still love me a good black eyeshadow. Smoky eye. Yes. Yes, please. So I'm just dragging it across all the way down. I know it's looking strong. But I will say this is the perfect collection for Halloween. Especially this palette, in my opinion. The other one's a little too fairy, fairy. That's the name of it, so I said it. Too fair, too soft for Halloween, in my opinion, because Halloween's supposed to be spooky, you know? Ooh. But no, Halloween is just awesome all around. And then with that, I am going to go in with this gray. I am, I love this gray. So just a little bit on the corner edge. No, on that corner, just on the edge of my brush. And we're going to do this, work that into that black on the edge, just the edge. 
as such. Like this. Okay, so with the brush, I'm seeing that it's not really that pigmented. You know, the shimmers. But they look so pretty if you swatch them. But once you put them on your eye, like it's a bit of a different story. I'm like, maybe I don't have the correct lighting to catch. Oh, all that shimmeriness. But, like, from what you see here, like that, it kind of does not translate over here. I do gotta say, this look is better, in my opinion, uh, than that one. You, you know, trial and error. Always do trial and error. Don't give up with if you do your first look and it's not what you want. So now we are going to go in with Night Terror. I'm going to try to use it as the inner corner highlight. As such. Okay, so I am liking this this look all better. It's just working out much better, in my opinion. So we're going to continue with this eye look, and we're going to make it work. Because it, that's what this collection deserves. This, like, you can see this one. I, I'm so glad I did that, so you guys can see that the red is very pigmented. The gray, I believe, is what I used here. It was okay. Here's the green. And then you know the black, but you are going to have some issues trying to blend them together. As you can see. Because I'm going to give you the honest truth there. Blending the mattes together was hard. They didn't really want to play. They didn't want to play nice. So I'm just going to finish up this one eye. I'm going to... do what I can like so I'm hoping all once all this is done I'm going to love this eye look My liner does not want to go above on top of that glittery shade. Okay, there we go. Just needed a little shake. What is it they say? Trust the process. Trust the process. But, I mean, in the end, this one doesn't look too bad either. I don't know, man. I, don't, I never know what to say or think whenever I do a look. You know? You know what I mean? Like, it's a little powdery. I'm not going to lie. It is. It is a little powdery. But, this doesn't look bad. I like this. This is, like, nice dark look grungy look so i will be back i'm gonna do this eye just like this one and then we'll do the lip review okay so give me just a couple minutes okay so i'm back i did do my liner my lashes with the lashes it brought the look together it's i'm happy with the eyes now the original one where i hit that roadblock of creativity and i was like that's not what i'm looking for it's not the nice smoky spooky look i'm looking forward to wearing for october you know what I mean? But right now I am wearing my Glamnetic Lashes. And these are... Lavish. So, you know, just a little swipe here and there. And I got it going. I got me this. So, now... I did get two lipsticks. These two. The red one came a little damaged, which makes me sad. But I got the prettiest purple. Look at that. Look at that purple. Like, do you see that? Oh. Got that one. And then I got this red one. But this is the one that came damaged. This one's like melted or something. Because it was still kind of hot. But it's also so pretty. And then I got this one. Which I think will go with both. So I'm actually thinking of doing like a dual, dual lip. Like should I do red? 
and purple or red and purple? Uh, we'll see what the red one looks like first. Oh, that is so nice. That is like, that is soft. That is a very soft feeling lipstick. Ah. Uh, like. Oh. It's very slick. I will tell you that. Yeah. Very slick. Definitely not transfer proof. Like, look at this. Ta-da, lipstick done. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm not living in the lipstick like this. But, there's this red one. Nice shimmer, nice glitter in that one. Taking it off. The best I can. Taking it off the best I can. Leaves behind a lot of the shimmer. Let me clean off my... I got out of my lips. Now I'm going to go in with this. Just like this. Because you know you want to... Oh, that looks so pretty in there though. Like... Oh, that is actually what you get in your lips, by the way. So it really is. Okay. I'm going to do this purple. This like... In your face purple now. Okay, are we ready? I'm going to try better this time. Mm-hmm. This is beautiful. Oh my god. Oh. Like I said, definitely not transfer proof. Definitely not. This feels like it would move a lot. I don't know if it actually would. But the feeling on it does seem like it would. And you can't feel the shimmer, glitter, whatever is going on in there. But it's not a glitter coating at all. It's, as you can see, throughout the lipstick. So that's that. This gloss is pretty. But I have an idea for the gloss. I want to see what the gloss looks like. So I'm actually going to take this off again. But here it is. Mm -hmm. Very lovely. Nice. That's wet. Okay, so we're going to go again. We're going to try to get this off. Oh, this one's harder to remove. This one's definitely harder to remove. Okay. Taking it off. I'm trying to remember where I left my... Black Milani one. The, the Milani um, has a black lipstick that's glittery. I didn't order it and I'm regretting it now because it's actually quite pretty. So, I have the matte one. Which is perfect because I want to show off the, um, the gloss. So let me try to find the normal matte from Milani while I'm trying to get this under control. On my lips. Where did I put it? I, you, know, you guys know how I, how I do this. Confusion. Confused. That I am. I just need a black lipstick, so I'm gonna use this. Oh wait, I think I found it. Is that it? Is this it? Yes, and I love the name. The name is I Am Invincible, and it is black, black. Okay, so we're gonna see how this one works too. It is a matte, matte black. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Okay. Let's go in. I remember, I'm not the best at bullet lipstick, so please don't pick on me. Pretty 
for you, please. I should have probably lined my lips. Ah, uh, this is. This is a statement making lipstick, okay? It's creamy, it's silky. It looks, it looks matte, but I think there's a bit of a shine to it. Don't judge me. Definitely should have lined my lips. You see these edges? Okay, so let me clean that up because it would not be fair to judge this lipstick with that going on. You know, it just wouldn't be fair. So let's continue with our little thing of cleaning up right here. So yeah, like I said, definitely not transfer proof or any of that. It is a normal bullet lipstick let's get this let's try to get the situation under control <laughs> my camera did some weird thing and I'm like ghost is it time for the ghost to come out and play you see this you see what I'm doing you see how I'm confused here the lipstick itself is good okay this is like user error Because I don't use bullet lipsticks. I use the liquid lipsticks. I'm sorry. I'm a cheater. I use the doe foot applicator. That is me all the way. I'm not going to lie. Don't use any of the other things. Okay, so that's the best I can do right now. I don't know. Okay, don't judge me. But we are going to put this gloss over it. This one is sealed with a kiss. And it's got that kind of applicator. It doesn't have a hole in it. So, you know, normally I'm used to them having a hole there. Oh. I don't know what it smells like. I think Justin's home. I heard music. Okay, the applicator is nice, it's sharp. A little point to help you get the edges and everything. Here it is. Like with a light. Not very glossy. Sadly, the like the shimmery that you see in this and that kind of like goes away. I don't know why. That's a little disappointing. But the gloss, like the shine is there. So I like that. But these are my final thoughts. Bring you closer like I normally do. Like I said, I'm going to do a separate video now on the other palette. Because this one went differently than I expected. But it is powdery. There's a lot of fallout in the pan. You just kept me going. Here. <sighs> but that, you shouldn't do that if you, you know, travel with it. But if it's just for you, you know. But yeah. So they are pretty though. Like they're very pigmented. They're shimmery nice they're a little they're they're hard to blend together that's the other thing like that did get me but i'm not gonna lie i would still buy this palette because of the sheer fact that once it it is good colors for like a halloween look not even halloween look like halloween look but like you know to celebrate october celebrate halloween celebrate just be in the spirit of fall and the spookies and all that it's very nice very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm probably going to be keeping this front and center because I love grungy looks like this. I like being able to make them. And I like, let me turn that light off. There we go. There we go. That helps. So you can get the shimmer effect from the gloss. 
the lipsticks, like I said, they were very pretty, very beautiful glosses, lipsticks, not glosses, the gloss is also nice, it's just, the gloss lost its little shimmer that I had in it, which makes me very sad, like I am trying so hard not to drop you guys a second time, because it's already happened once, so I'm going to do the lipsticks on my palm, now that I turn the light down, in a way, from everything. So you guys can get a good C for what it is. The two lipsticks. And the gloss by itself on my palm. If I can get it open. There we go. Hopefully this will help. To get. Okay, so here we go. I'm like, focus here, camera, please. That's what we get. I'm trying to get out. There we go. I guess. But you see those? Those are... The purple is make-believe. As such... Focus here, camera. Focus right here. Boop. 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 And now we're just playing with each other over there. Poison Apple is that red one. And the gloss I picked has got that little snake on it. 270 sealed with a kiss. So those are the ones. And like I said... It's it's got its downfalls. The palette I believe retails for $14.99, $15.99, something like that. And for Milani, I believe that is about average. I've always liked Milani cosmetics that like their lipsticks. Their blush, their blush stays front and center with me. Like I said, it is what I use for every look I do. The black eyeshadow I have always loved from Milani. It was one of the first ones I did ever purchase and purchase from them and continue to do so if my computer would um load i could tell you now the prices of all this the palettes the palettes are 13.99 so 14 dollars us dollars and then the lipsticks run 8.99 so there's that and then the glosses will run you 8.99 as well and they come in they come with them they come to match the lipstick so that's nice i should have ordered the pink one since i ordered the red lipstick but here you go i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you i hope you like the honesty i always give you guys where i mess up and i show you what you can come out of it if you always start over you have the time just enjoy it that's what makeup is it's all about your creativity what you have going on in there relaxing but, as always, like the video if you liked it. If not, then I'm sorry. I tried. And then subscribe. Follow me. I'm always here to talk, chit-chat, entertain. Be prepared to have shimmer, glitter everywhere. But I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you do want me to do a look on just this other palette. This pretty little pastel dream going on here. And that is it for the video for today. Thank you. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.